Hi, my name is Ryan Kupinski. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own 3D content for your augmented reality apps. Let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we want to open up Reality Compose. Now this is an application developed by Apple and you can use it on your iPhone, your iPad and your Mac. Um, I'm going to use my iPad to design um, the content and then I'll airdrop it onto my Mac and show you how we can actually use that content in our apps using Reality Kit. So let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is you want to create a new project in Reality Kit and what we're going to create for this video is a Christmas tree. Um, it's the holidays and so um, that's what we'll create for our content. Now you'll see a screen um, saying choose an anchor um, and if you're not familiar with anchors all content really should be attached to an AR anchor and so in this case we're gonna place a Christmas tree on a tabletop and so we want to select our horizontal anchor okay so now you can see that we have a default scene with a cube and some text we're gonna remove all of this because we won't be using that and so let's delete that okay and so now we have an empty scene the first thing what we'll do is we will create the stem of the tree um, we're gonna use a cylinder for that and as you can see we have a white cylinder over here um, we're gonna adjust the dimensions because this is a bit too big we're, we're creating a small tabletop Christmas tree and so for the diameter I think I'm gonna do three centimeters and then for the height I'm gonna do four centimeters um, the cylinder is now floating so we're gonna reduce the we're gonna lower it to 2.5 centimeters oh wait that is not correct uh, two centimeters okay so now we have this object placed on our um, our plane okay um, it also has a bevel and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just remove that bevel radius because we just want the stem to be a cylinder and no bevels um, once we have this uh, we want to start applying material to it and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the material um, selection I'm gonna select matte paint so we don't want too much shininess on a stem and then for the material color I'll pick something I'll pick a dark green and so that's kind of what we have so far um, and as you can see you can like move around in the scene um, if you're familiar with creating 3D content, you know that most of the tools are very complex. Um, it takes a lot of time to actually learn them. And so Apple created Reality Composer to easily create your AR scenes. Um, and you can animate objects, you can do a lot of stuff just on your iPhone or iPad. And then once you want to do something more complex, once you want to bring it into an app, you can um, airdrop it to your Mac or email it to your Mac or any, any way to share um, documents that you usually do between your um, Apple devices and so what we're gonna do next is now the tree part right which is a cone and so we're creating a very simple looking Christmas tree it's nothing fancy um, but I think it'll be cool anyways okay so now we have a cone it's placed next to the tree so what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise it up and you can see how it snaps okay and so that's important. I think that's when you have the magnet enabled. See, so here it doesn't work, but when you have the magnet enabled, the magnet icon is snapping. And so we're going to put the tree right above there. And so we want to make sure that the X position is zero and the Z position is also zero. Okay, so this is a pretty small tree. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make the diameter let's see 20 centimeters and then we're gonna make the height let's make it 25 Ooh, that looks good and then obviously we don't have a white Christmas tree we're gonna use a green Christmas tree and again we're gonna select matte paint and this time we're gonna do a green uh, shade lighter than our stem and so this is kind of the Christmas tree that we have and you can like go around it 
Now, one thing that I really like to do and that is so cool in this app is you can actually preview this in AR. And so I'm going to preview this right now and I'm gonna try and place it over here and look at that. You can just see the Christmas tree in your space to scale and you can still manipulate it. So you can still select it, you can still edit it. And so that's really awesome um, that you can do that because then you can really see you know, proportion size wise, does it look good? Uh, once we have our Christmas tree, then what we're going to do is we are going to create um, our ball ornaments. So we're going to create some red ball or ornaments and some gold ones. And so let's just create a simple sphere now. And so obviously that's way too big for our Christmas tree. And so what we're going to do is we're going to size this to two centimeters. And that's a good size, right? The proportions I think will look fine. So once we have that, then there's many materials you can select in the object inspector. So here you can see you have the transform, which is the position, rotation, and the scale. And then you have the look, which is the materials and the material color and the sizing of it. And so uh, I've experimented with this before. And I, for Christmas balls, I really like car paint. Um, it has like this, it makes it look like an actual Christmas ornament. And so I selected car paint and then for our color, what we're going to select is a darkish red shade. And you can see how really it looks really festive and it looks good. And so we're going to have that. Now, we're also going to create a gold one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this one. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so it's kind of wonky. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. And then we're going to select a shade of gold. And that looks beautiful, right? And so now we have our Christmas tree, we have our ball ornaments, and a Christmas tree is not complete without a star. And so let's create our star. And you can see how easy it is to just create content in here. Um, Apple did an amazing job of having, you know, all this content you know, as a standard library. So all of this content is available to you if you download this free app, which is Re Reality Composer. And so now we have our star. So what we're going to do is we want to rotate our star. So here you can see kind of like red, blue. And so we want to put our star facing that way. And so we're going to look for the red one and then rotate it and see how it snaps at set intervals. That's kind of what we want. And then we want to rotate it like that. And so now our star um, is facing the right way at the right angle, I think. Is it? Um, yeah, zero degrees. Yeah, it is. Okay, so now that we have that, it doesn't look quite right though. Let's see. 90. Okay, so yeah, it did. It looked kind of like shifted, but I essentially set the rotation of the X and the Z, uh, Z axis to 90. And now it looks better. I'm not sure why it was, it looked a little bit shifted. Okay, so now we have that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose gold as our material. And look at that beautiful shine on there. All right, this looks really cool. And so this is a bit too big. And so what we're gonna do is we're not gonna actually change the diameter and all those um, dimensions, what we're going to do is we're going to scale it and we're going to scale it to 50% of its original size. And so then it scales everything automatically for us. And these are all the ornaments that we actually have. And so what we're going to do now is assemble this tree and then we'll export it. Okay. So let's put this, well, the star has to be Let's put this star on. Usually you would finish with the star, but let's put this star on because that's the only that's only one that we're gonna have. And so here, and then we're gonna use we we have to position it properly. And so I'm just gonna look at that, and then we're gonna zoom in, just so we can lower it onto the tree that it looks right. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Okay. And then we are going to create, let's say we'll, we'll do five red ball ornaments and five gold ones. Okay, so that's what we're going to do.
some more ornaments. So you have now three gold ornaments and five of, of the red ones. And we have our star and this Christmas tree looks awesome. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it in AR to make sure it looks great. Um, and to also show you that you can actually prototype your AR experiences using only an iPad or an iPhone. And then once you're ready to bring this content into your app, then we switch to the Mac. And so let's uh, enable AR again. There we go. And that's our Christmas tree. That looks awesome. Okay, and then you can actually play it. And this is, you know, it even has a shadow. Um, and that's the Christmas tree. It has the reflections and all that stuff. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to export this content um, in two ways, just to show you that you have two options. And then um, we'll go from there. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export this as a reality file. So in reality kit, um, you can use two types of file formats for your 3D models, USD uh, Z files and reality files. And so when you purchase assets online, like I showed in uh, a previous video, you can click here to see that video. Um, you can, you use USDC. Now you can also export reality files from reality composer and use them um, in your AR apps. And so I'll show you how to do that. You select export. So you go to more options, you select export, um, and then you send it to the Mac. I am going to block out the options here because I have private information on there, but the file is not, has now been sent to my Mac. And then what we, what we can also do is we can um, go to projects and we can select the project. So I, I'm also going to block out most of this because it, it contains private information and intellectual property that I can't share. Um, and then we're going to press share and we're gonna send it again to my MacBook. Okay, so now we're switching from the iPad to the Mac. I've exported two files, a reality file and a reality composer project file. And so I'll show you how to import these two files in Xcode and show you how to actually use them. Um, I'm assuming that you already have um, experience using RealityKit, if you don't, watch my previous videos on how to create a basic reality kit app. I'll link them up there and in the description. Um, but what I did here was just create a new project using reality kit as the content technology for AR. And that's all I did. And so it even has the default code, st a default code still. Um, so what I'll show you now is how to import your content. So we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call this models. And then I'll add the content. Um, to this models folder. Now I send over um, these two files using AirDrop. You can use email or any other way you share uh, documents between your phone, iPad, and Mac. Um, but now you can see that we have the RC project file, which we can see our beautiful Christmas tree, and we have our reality file. Now a word of caution, you only have to do one or the other. You don't have to do both. Uh, I'm showing you just to, st just to show you that you can do this. Um, but it's key that they're not the same name because Xcode actually generates code automatically to, to load in the scenes. And so um, you can see that they look similar, although the RC project has more um, things built in. And so what we're going to do, I'll show you very simple code on how to load this into your um, reality kit app. And so the first thing we're, we'll do is load in the RC project. And so I'm going to create a Christmas tree anchor and we're going to load. So Xcode actually generates code automatically to load in our scene. Um, it, it control an error. So we essentially force unwrap it because it, it provides an optional. Um, but you can see that this is automatically provided with Xcode the moment we imported the RC product. So that's really cool and really simple. And then all we have to do is just add this anchor to our scene and we're done. Um, and so we're going to add scene and then add anchor and then we're going to add our Christmas tree anchor. Um, and this is, I mean, this is really simple. I'm going to run it on my iPhone just to show you, you know, how this works. Um, okay, it's loading. 
Okay, let's just move around our scene. And there we have our Christmas tree and our beautiful star. And you can have, you can see our Christmas balls and the Christmas tree with its shadow. Um, and it just took two lines um, to, to actually run um, our custom content. And so you can see how it's, it's really simple to use this. Now, what I also wanna show you is how to use the reality file. Now the reality file, as I mentioned previously in this video, is more like a USDC file. The RC project is a more complicated file, but the reality file is very similar to USDC. And so what we're gonna do, instead of having that code, this code is gonna be a little bit longer, but it's still very simple. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a Christmas model entity where we have our Mondo entity and we say load um, and we're gonna load in our, we're gonna, it's called uh, Xmas tree. I think that's what um, the actual object is called in there. We're gonna see if this gives us an error. Um, since this can throw an error, it provides an optional. So we're gonna just force unwrap it. And then what we're gonna do next is we are going to create a um, anchor entity that looks for a horizontal plane. Since we're using a reality file, this does not include the actual anchor, and so we have to create our own anchor in this case. Um, so it's a little bit more work. Um, so let's see, anchor entity, and we're gonna do our horizontal alignment, and we're gonna add in, we're gonna add our uh, model entity to our anchor and then we're going to add our anchor um, to our scene and so this is similar to what we did to uh, with our previous Christmas tree anchor and so let's do that um, and I'm going to run it so let's see it's loading Okay, let's move around and there we have it again so now we have our Christmas tree again and you can see it's the same beautiful Christmas tree but loaded in a different way and so that's how you create your own content using reality composer it is super simple um, to create content in there now this it is pretty basic but you can create great AR experiences just using free tools and simple tools um, and once you create that content either on your iPhone, on your iPad, or even on your Mac, you can then bring it into your AR apps and use that as your own content. So this is a great way to save money if you don't have money to buy third-party assets. Um, and I hope this, this video was useful to you. Um, and I hope it inspires you to create your own content and your own AR apps. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Um, if you enjoyed this video or this video was helpful to you, please give it a like and subscribe to see more videos like these.